stuff for we back on the scene over here and uh what i got for y'all going on right now is uh i got like two one pound bags of uh red beans and uh normally normally you would let these soak you know soak for a couple of hours or soak all day uh some people might put them in the pot the night before you know but uh i'm not doing that today so we're about to put it down uh i'm i'm working with a little seven quart pot checking that out and uh this gonna probably be about probably take about two hours to get get it together so i'm about to go ahead on and get it going we're about to get it on the ball right now so it's gonna ball for uh, at least an hour before i end up coming back and probably having to add more water in it and of course we're gonna put all the good stuff in there the onions bell peppers green onions uh tony saturi garlic powder all that good stuff so uh check it out Hey, what's up, folks? Uh, we back. It's uh, it done been almost uh, like a good 30 minutes, uh, about a good 30 40 minutes. And uh, this is what the beans see how they they already starting to peel back. I got it boiling on a high fire, and uh, you see the water's already starting to turn brown, and it's doing just what I needed to do. So, we're gonna continue to let this roll, but this is just a little something you know, a little kind of show you what it's looking like. You know what I'm saying? See, they still kind of hard and stuff. So, they getting out of So, we're going to let this roll for about another 30, 30 minutes at least. And uh, I'll come back and see what it looked like. Because what I'm going to end up doing is filling it back up with a little water. And then I'm going to start dropping my smoked meat up in there. So, that smoke flavor can get in there and the meat can get tender and all that other good stuff. You know, come back with the onions, bell peppers, green onions, all that good stuff. Seasoning. And, and and we'll be almost home. We'll be almost, you know, we getting there. All right now, y'all hold it down. All right, what's up, folks? It's Cooking with the Jacobs. We back on the scene, uh, hooking up these red beans and rice. And uh, it's now like 8.20, 8.21. So it's been on pretty much uh, about an hour, if not an hour close to it. You see how the water is nice and getting brown. It's getting darker as it's cooking because all the color is coming off the beans. And, of course, the beans is getting, you see how soft they is now? See, they see they getting there. They're not quite there, but they're almost there. So uh, what I'm about to get ready to do in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to be starting to add the smoked meat and uh put some seasoning in it you know some saturi some tony saturi uh some garlic powder i'm gonna throw some oregano in there uh, i'm gonna put some italian seasoning in there and uh throw a couple bay leaves in that thing and then i'm gonna drop the uh bell peppers and uh onions up in there uh normally i would put green onions but i don't have none but that's all right it's still gonna be coming down. It's still gonna go hard like it's supposed to go hard. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, just uh, check it out, and uh, I'll be back. All right, what's up, folks? Should be back on the scene over here. Uh, we didn't switch burners. We we had to move the pot around, but we didn't have to switch burners. But yeah, it's it's looking good. You see, it got that nice good good brown color i'm about to go ahead on and drop all my good stuff and then see how soft them beans is i mean no I, i'm gonna let this thing cook till these beans start dissolving to make the gravy a little thick but i don't have to go ahead on because normally i'll smash them up against the side of the pot just depending on you know what i'm looking for time but we got to drop this meat in here and let this meat get this flour up in these beans so uh you know, you can pretty much put any kind of smoked meat in here. You could do smoked turkey. You could do smoked chicken. I mean, your pork. So, you know, today we're working with the pork. So I had some meat that I found in my freezer. So I'm about to drop it in there from when uh, I smoked something from Thanksgiving. So uh, it's about 8.30. So we've been going pretty strong for over an hour now. So, you know, a little ham hot. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna drop that in now. Sure, I got some slices of ham I'm dropping in now. And then uh, depending on what type of 
you know, grocery store we got, you know, we got some chopped up smoked ham hocks, boneless ham hocks that we drop it in there. And you don't have to, it don't have to be defrosted. I mean, if you want to defrost your meat, that's on you, you know, but I ain't defrosting it. The, the heat going to get it. You know, I'm dropping all that in there because, you know, we like a little meat. And uh, that's it for the smoked ham hocks. Uh, you know, if I was, you know, had some tasso or something like that, I'd be chopping up some tasso, throwing it in there. But you could put any type of smoked meat in your beans because you want it to have a good smoke flavor. I like that smoke flavor. If you don't like the smoke flavor, then don't put no smoked meat in there. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. Next. I got my, my bell peppers. Now this is, uh, I chopped up one whole bell pepper and the onion, I, chopped, I, I sliced off like four slices off the onion and chopped it down. And uh, that's all I need on, on, on the onion. You, know, you gotta be careful, you know, be careful with too much, too many onions. You know, so we're gonna drop that in now. Kind of. Move it around a little bit for y'all so y'all can see see what it's starting to look like. And I did, and I asked if this cook this 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 gravy broth whatever you want to call it juice uh it's gonna get to looking a little different as it cooks. So we are gonna continue on. You know, don't mind the noise over there because we we got another. Another little little something something going down for y'all. Gonna you know some little you know some fried pork ribs. You know the missus putting it down. She in the house. <clears throat> now next, let's come on with the seasoning. I can't like I always tell y'all. I can't tell you how much I'm putting in there. I just know how much to put in there. You see what I'm doing. Uh, and I may end up adding a little more later on because I got to make sure uh, the salt uh, level is uh, right in it because it has to have a good uh, little, you know, you know, not too salty, but it, it got to have a little, little salt taste to it, but not too strong. You don't want your food salt. You know, we ain't trying to do high blood pressure around here. All right, we're going to drop some of these bay leaves up in there. That should be good. Put like yeah, a couple more. And uh, what else I got? Uh, I got some Italian seasoning. I'm gonna drop this up in there. You know, just be careful with how much you put, depending on how big of a pot of beans you're cooking, because you may not be cooking a pot as big as mine. You know, you may be doing a half a bag, a half a pound, or something like that. So, you know, season it accordingly. And uh, if you're just not sure about the seasoning, just make sure you taste it. And if it don't kind of taste how you want it to taste, then you add a little bit more seasoning in there, especially if you didn't ate it from somebody else's house and their beans was on point. All right, uh, we got some oregano. We're going to drop some of this up in there. Seasoning and got up under my nose. Y'all excuse that. <clears throat> All right, that looked pretty good for the oregano. And uh, what else I need? I need some other uh, some garlic powder. Put a little, put some garlic powder in there. That's good. That's good. And uh, that's it for right now. So we're gonna uh, get this thing on the ball. You know. Uh, I did not add no water to the pot because of how big the pot is. It wasn't that low. Depending on what size pot you're cooking in, you may have to add water in it and let it get to boiling first before you get to dropping all this meat in it and let it cook down a little bit. But uh, with me dropping everything I put in there, it raised my water level back up. So we're going to let this roll, let it get to a ball. And uh, I'll be back and uh, we'll check in on it, peep in on it, and see what it's doing. Cooking with the Jacobs, red beans and rice. Alright, what's going down, folks? Uh, we're back on the scene over here. And uh, 
It's almost 9 o'clock. It's 8.53. You see how all the meat done broke down. We're going to let it roll. We're going to continue to let it roll. But you see how it's, you know, that gravy is starting to look a little thick. It's going to get, a, it's gonna get even a little more thicker before it's over with. And uh, we're going to continue to let it roll. But this is just a little peep in moment just to kind of show you what it's doing. And, you know, how all that frozen meat I put in there, how it done broke down into pieces. And, uh... We'll be back all the time. What's up, folks? We back over here with this straight up red beans and rice, straight out of Louisiana. You know, Lake Charles. If folks want to ask down south, uh, it's like 9 11. So, uh, these beans is, uh, you know, they pretty much done. So, uh, you know, my, my, my beans is nice and soft. You know what I'm saying? See how my gravy looking them all nice and thick. And the beans, they don't cook so much till they starting to break apart. And that's kind of what you're looking for. You don't really want to have whole, unless you just like whole beans, I need mine to break down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I might smash a few, I don't know. But I don't think I need to do that in this case. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still kind of cooking on a high fire. So uh, what I'm about to do is add these sausage in. And once I add these sausage in, I'm going to get it to a ball. And it's going to cook for maybe about 10, no longer than 15 minutes. And this, this is done. The last thing you want to put in there is put the sausage in there. You, know, you don't want to cook all your flavor out your sausage. You know what I'm saying? You know, so this is like, uh, this, that, that was a, a two rings of sausage that I chopped up, you know, just accommodate for, you know, whatever portion size that you're doing. But we're going to let this here roll, and I'll be back. It's looking good. Cooking with the Jacob. All right. All right, what's up, folks? We back on the scene. This thing done started balling. So, you know, that means it's pretty much done. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's pretty much, like I say, you just want to make sure it, the, the food heat up to a ball. You know, let it roll for about 10 minutes, no longer than 15 minutes, because you don't want to cook all your flavor out your sausage. And, and this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? This is that, that straight up red beans and rice action, you know. And you could do this with pinto beans, llama beans, black eyed peas, I mean, any kind of beans, you know what I'm saying? This is pretty much the format. If you, you know, if you like, you know, throwing down and having that smoke flavor and stuff like I like it. But yeah, I'll be back to just show you what it looks like once we uh, drop this thing on the plate with some rice. You know what I'm saying? And show you what it is. But this is that red beans and rice straight up Louisiana. Cooking with the Jacobs. Alright, what's up, folks? This is uh what it looked like. I like the have my little first stash of beans in a bowl because I like a lot of juice. You know what I'm saying? But this is the front finished product. You know, drop you some hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, whatever the little spicy stuff you like to put on it. And, uh, you know, I'm about to put it down over here. Red beans and rice. Straight up Louisiana. Cooking with the chicken.